All right, web design. Here is a sample table we're looking at here. Um, this is going to be module fi uh, five on unit two. So this is a table I just made. We're going to look at the code and we're going to learn how to adjust it and make a new row. Um, you'll see like all tables you have columns and you have rows. Um, it's easy to read here. It gets a little more confusing with how you organize the HTML code to make that work. Um, you're actually going to do it by row. So you're going to do the first row and make each column in that row. Then make a new row and make each column in that row and so on and so forth. Um, as you can see here. So here's our code. We have the normal setting up here. Um, you'll notice I'm missing a style tag because I have not done any style yet, which we're going to get into in just a moment. Uh, here we have our table tag, which initiates the table. Our caption, which is the text above the table that indicates what the table is. Our T head, which is our indicating that this is our header row. Um, we have our TR, which initiates a row. TH uh, is a header column tag. Um, for the other columns, we're going to be using TD when it's not a column. But for this one, uh, the, everything in this row is a header. Um, it's our top row. It's what indicates, uh, as you saw, there's a blink. And then comedy, action, horror, and drama. Uh, the scope attribute is something I'm not as familiar with, but it's something um, that the module will talk about. It didn't seem to have any impact on mine. I think it's more or less just labeling that this is going to be the header for the column. And you'll see on my other headers for the rows um, that I also have scope row. Once we're done with the T head, we close that. We've closed our, our row. We start the body of the table now. Um, new row, TR. TH, because that initial uh, column is going to be our label for that row, the header for that row. Then we have our responses in TD, which is just a regular column um, square. So if you think of each TD as a single square in the column. And so we have least favorite, favorite, second, third. End the row, start a new row, uh, header, Jenny. And then the, the her opinions end and the body and the table. And this is an incorrect tag. I'm going to delete. It's unnecessary. All right. Now, I'm going to go um, into my table here. And as you saw, the other one had a border. Right now, if I were to go back and refresh this, maybe I need to save that first and then refresh it. There we go. There's no border. There's nothing. It's just empty kind of blank spaces. So we need to assign a few things. <clears throat> we can do it all in style, um, or we can do the old school style method, but we're going to go style, um, make it a tag. And we'll go table. And we're going to go, um, we do width, uh, let's make it 500 pixels, border, sorry, border. Um, we'll do one pixel, solid, black. Um, I'm not going to do height. Eh, I'll do a height. No, I won't do a height. Um, we can do a, a color, background color. And we'll do, um, actually, you know what? Let's do the background color for, for rows instead. Ah, padding. That's something. We definitely want some padding on the... Uh, Nope, that's also wrong. We want that in the columns. That's probably all we need for the actual table. I'm going to do T, uh, TR. I'm do this right, you guys. I'm sorry. It's early in the morning. Do background color. No, you know what? Probably want this as a TD instead. So we're going to do background color. And we'll do uh, probably just white, actually, for the background color. That one, which is unnecessary to do the... the tag, but just so you go through the motions with me here. Padding, we definitely want, um, probably do 10 pixels. That might be too big and we might adjust that, but we'll, we'll try that one out. Um, we can do color, and that's obviously the text color. And you can do text color, whatever color. Uh, I think I'll keep it black here. Again, that's unnecessary. I'm just doing it for the sake of visual. Um, we can do TH. TH, we want to make a different color. Um, we'll do um, background. Let's say uh, let's say black padding um, ten color. We'll do white. Kind of invert it there so it stands out. And let's see how that looks. I'm gonna save it. Come over here and refresh. 
All right, so right away I see one problem here is that my uh, my border is not actually filling in with the color, so I may have entered that incorrectly. Let's see. I felt pretty confident that it was solid black. Maybe it's black solid. Nope. Hmm. Maybe we need border here. Let's see, border, black, one pixel. And solid. And if that doesn't work, then I'm going to give up for the moment. But out oh, there, that works. So we have a border on the inside of each of our columns as well as there. I think that looks pretty good. And um, what we'll do real fast is we're going to make a, a third row. So I'm just going to make another row here. TR, TH, scope, row. And we'll make, um, let's see, Sam. Sam's going to have his opinions given, and TD, and he thinks comedy is a uh, third favorite. And then we have TD, and we have action, and it's his second favorite. Second. Am I spelling second right? Yes, I am. And we'll go TD, and we're going to make horror his favorite. And he is not a fan of dramas. All right, and we need to close the row. And that should do it. Save, and let's see if we have a new row. We should. Boom. All right, so we have the black border in our headings. Um, we have our white border here, and of course we could change that to any color we wanted. We have the separation of cells. We have padding so that the words have space inside. Uh, you'll notice that the header is automatically centered and the um, inner text here is all left aligned. Uh, the reason why it's not up against the wall is because of our padding. We have padding all the way around uh, 10 pixels. Um, and we can set the individual sizes. Like if we wanted a column to be a certain dimension, we can do that as well. But it's not necessary. Uh, that should get you started. Hopefully you see how the table structure is. That it goes, um, each one is separated by row. So this is row one and each column that we're going to have. Um, there is one anomaly that can occur, just to show you. Let's say that there's a tie. Sam likes two. Uh, he likes dramas and horror to be his favorite. And we just want that to be one column to represent the tie. This is where we get broken. If I don't have that extra column, because I've set the precedence that I need to have five columns, and I only have four here. What happens if I do that? See how it breaks? And it looks messed up. To fix that is I do a call span. And I do two because I want it to span two columns so now when I refresh you'll see favorite stretch across two columns so that's how you do that if you were doing something where like you had two rows that you wanted to be the same thing you would do a row span in the row um, section it just depends um, it can get this is very intricate um, coding it can get easily messed up if you leave something off and so if you're having problems where you're seeing your table like break or cells are missing, most likely you either have one cell short or you forgot to close something or maybe left a quote open. Normal problems. But that's it for this lesson, guys. Hope you use this to help you uh, with Module 5.